Welcome to another fitness video of Real Life Planet. We have over here Mr. Harry Sandhu, the director of Boss. So let's speak with him. Let's get to know some points about him. Okay, uh, Mr. Sir, uh, Mr. Sandhu, a very warm welcome to Real Life Planet. Thank so you. I'm going to ask you some questions like, could you please tell our viewers that from where have you started your journey in this path? Oh, look, um, I've been in this field for nearly 25 years. Okay. So I started back in 1994. Um, in Chandigarh and then I moved to Australia in 1998 okay. and uh, I've been doing um, this as I said from last nearly 24 25 years and um, and I've been active in India for more from the last three or four years okay. so I've been in this industry for a long time okay so you said that you have been to this industry from last 25 years that's a long time okay uh, well now can you say that uh, now you are in Mumbai for this seminar so basically what is the main motive behind this seminar look I think um, in, in any industry you know people want to grow you know the growth is very important and uh, education is part of that growth so I brought um, Justin Vessels uh, along with me from Australia who is Mr. Universe and um, you know this uh, today's workshop if we had two days uh, workshop or uh, uh, team boss certification uh, yesterday was all theory and today is uh, today was practical so we just mainly all about uh, contest prep coaching, extreme fat loss. You know, today was uh, practical, so a lot of training strategy, training techniques. <coughs> so it was mainly about uh, for personal trainers and bodybuilders and coaches. So that's what um, these two days were about. Okay, so uh, let me ask you one more thing that as you're an athlete trainer, so what are the common mistakes <coughs> that most athletes do after a competition? What are the common mistakes? Oh, wow. I think the biggest one that stands out when you're talking about I think bodybuilders is um, they tend to eat too much and too soon. Okay. So in a post competition I think you know your body is primed to store a lot of fat and it's primed to hold a lot, a lot of fluid as well because often bodybuilders will restrict uh, some uh, restrict fluid intake to a great extent and um, you know you've been dieting for 10, 12, 15, 20 weeks and then um, you know, and you end up eating all this food and it's ne never a good thing, you know. So I think the biggest mistake, that's the mistake they made. They really need to sort of ease back into their normal eating style and not just go nuts from the day one. As soon as they get off stage and you start eating all this food, uh -huh. it's never a good idea. So I think that's the biggest mistake they make. Okay. Okay, so tell me one thing that what kind of a diet does an athlete take so that our viewers can get you some uh, idea about it? Yeah, sure. Look, I think, you know, if you're talking about what sort of stuff they eat, it's, it's not necessarily just you know, boiled chicken and broccoli and green vegetables, but it's just a matter of eating, eating clean foods like lots of chicken and eggs and fish and uh, lots of green vegetables and rice and sweet potatoes and uh, exercising religiously, making sure they get their training four or five times a week, they get their cardio in four or five times a week, and then as you progress through weeks and progressively dropping um, calories, you know, you start eliminating carbs in one meal, then another meal, then another meal, then adding more cardio, and you adjust things as you go along. So I think that's what the contest prep dieting is, is about. <coughs> Tell me, tell me one thing, Mr. Sandhu. Like, is the supplementation required for a good physique or for a bodybuilding? Like, because most of the uh, most of us still have this doubt. What's your take on this? Oh, uh, look, I don't think you actually need supplements to develop a good physique. Mm -hmm. um, you supplements definitely do help. No, there's no question about it. Right. But the guys that you see on stage and the the, the physiques you stay on stage. Um, majority of them they're not just supplements there's a lot of steroids involved in that as well so then <clears throat> the, that's the reality of the sport so I'm not here to mislead any uh, any of your viewers or any of your, our viewers um, so to achieve that level of physique it's not going to happen 90 percent of the times it's not going to happen just with your good old protein and whey and um, bcaa's or your food yes you can achieve a very good respectable physique in look great with your clothes off no doubt about it just with, with good good old food and uh, proper and, uh, exercise regime uh, like can you tell me one more thing like in this bodybuilding field there are a lot of challenges that a person has to suffer like financial problems so what do you suggest them to be motivated on this 
<clears throat> well, I think people need to prioritize. You know, if, if you're bodybuilding, at the end of the day, bodybuilding is a, ho a hobby. <clears throat> Pardon me. So if, it, if you're for doing bodybuilding at the expense of your family or your kids' fees or your household expenses, then the competitive level bodybuilding is not for you. That's the reality of it. Um, it's an expensive sport, it's an expensive hobby, you know, if you're talking about competitive bodybuilding. Uh, but for lifestyle purposes, there are no financial hardships, you know, you eat normal food and you go and exercise four or five times a week and that's bodybuilding as well. But if we start talking about competitive bodybuilding and your expenses will range anything from 20,000 a month to one lakh, one and a half lakhs, two lakhs a month. Depends what level you're trying to pursue because everything becomes expensive. So if you don't, unless you're making 70, 80,000 rupees a month, you're kidding yourself to follow any level of competitive bodybuilding, it's just not gonna happen. You know, as I said, as a lifestyle choice, to go and train in the gym four times a week or five times a week or three times a week and just to look good and be healthy, it won't require you any extra money except the gym membership or you can train at home with, in, with body weights. Um, so that's the big difference. Um, okay, now let's talk about this seminar part. Like, how did you experience when for two days seminar of the boy? Oh look, I've done I've done a lot of seminars in Mumbai. You know, this is not the first one that I've done. I've done I don't know maybe 15, 20 seminars. It's always fun. I love coming back to Mumbai. There's a lot of friends here. Uh, a lot of my clients are from here. So Mumbai is always great. You know, we covered a lot of topics uh, today. Uh, a lot of uh, fat loss and strategies, muscle building strategies, extreme fat loss strategies. Um, you know, seminar in Ketan is a good friend of mine. You know, who's gym this links. So Mumbai is always great. So we, we, I always have a fantastic time coming to Mumbai. So it was good. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Sandhu, for giving. No problem. Thank you. No problem. You're welcome. All right. All the best. Ah!